channel my name is Daniela and I go by the name of DSYB hair <laughs> if you want to see how I look from this to this then continue watching guys today I'll be doing the Falani goddess braids and guys I am feeling this I just love burgundy on my skin oh Comment down below guys what you think of this hairstyle but if you want to see how I achieve this cute Falani goddess tropical braid <laughs> then continue watching guys but without further ado let's get straight into the video. Hey guys so today we'll be using the pre-stretched expression in the colour T1B that slash BG and I'd like to thank at YG Wigs for sponsoring this video and sending me over their burgundy body wave human braiding hair. Oh lush. <laughs> so as you can see guys I've already pre-parted my hair. I've parted my hair from ear to ear which is halfway and then at the back I've already parted my lines to start my boxes that I'm going to be showing you how to do row by row. So the first row I've parted my hair into three boxes and the first row I'll actually be doing normal knotless. So using the gummy edge control, I'm going to mold my hair into place and using my index finger and thumb, I'm going to slot the expression in between the two and continue braiding. Again, for those that have forgotten how to do knotless braids, index finger and thumb with the expression, you're going to slot the hair in between the two and you continue braiding. I'm going to show you exactly what I do when I want to add the hair further down, guys. So at the front, there's the left section and there's your middle section. In the middle of, the, of them, guys, you're gonna add the expression in between the two, as you see here, and you continue braiding. I do only add three pieces per braid on the first row. And then I do that only on the first row, guys. After that, I literally add the body wave hair throughout the rest of the hair. So guys, how I part the next row is I do a middle part in the middle and literally I add two boxes on each side and all together that's four boxes I add. Because the bottom row is a single box, you do a middle part which you get the pattern. So guys, with this one now, I start the, uh, by adding my hair like usual with black owls to do the knotless with the expression and then guys, with the body wave hair, I'm going to put the hair upside down, which is the straight side, in the middle section of the braid, and I continue braiding. And then I go on to add in the expression. So again, guys, index finger and thumb, you add the expression in between the two and continue braiding. I no longer add, I only add two pieces of expression from now on, guys, because I will be adding eight pieces of the body wave braiding hair. So guys, with the first method I use, I do expression, body wave, then expression, then body wave, body wave, body wave, another seven times, which because obviously all together I add eight body waves here. However, I'm going to show you the, pa the pattern I use throughout the rest of the hair because I wanted the, the body wave to just be a little bit more further up. So I'll show you what I do. So that's the second row. On the third right row now, guys, I literally measure the boxes from the bo the box below and I part two twice on one side and twice on the other side. And then that will leave you with a middle box. Because we're doing a brick, a brick method, brick layered method, it's going to be box, then a parting, then a box, then a parting, then a box, and then a parting. So here, guys, the method I use to add the hair, I start off by using the body wave hair. Then I add expression. Then I add expression again. Then I go on to using the adding seven more body wave pieces of hair. So guys, that's the two methods I use to add hair. You can, if you want the the body wave to be further up, I advise you to just add the body wave first. Then go on to add in the two expressions and then continue on to add in the rest of the body wave hair. I hope this is making sense and I'm not, and you guys are not confused. I hope that the demonstration that I'm showing makes a lot of sense. Row 
row so as you can see here now guys because i've added the done a box last the next row will be a middle part as you see here so now it's matching the the box in between so it's box middle part box middle part i hope this is making sense i then go on to again measuring the boxes on the row below so together it will be six boxes on this fourth row as you see me do here so then now the box above will be a middle box and that will be five boxes i add on the row above and then the row on top will then go be four boxes with a middle part so and that will create the brick layered um part method and look how full the hair is guys that's literally one bundle and a half um of the expression so far and then i go on to doing the rest of the hair so as you can see i've done one side one half of the braid in here now this is how we part the hair guys you part three sections at the front like you're doing six all back braids and then in between the three parts the three sections you part in between that <laughs> i hope that made sense and all together you will have six straight lines going back well to the middle on one side and then another six on the other now guys onto the braiding you're going to mold the hair with the same gummy that you saw into place and then you start your braid now guys i start stitching my the hair with my ring finger as you see here so the ring finger is literally going to be like your comb and you're going to literally part your hair down into the middle of the braid and continue braiding i hope that makes sense so you're literally forming stitches you're forming lines with your nails i use um fake nails to create this look um because i feel like it um, forms the stitches much better especially when you're doing it on your own hair and then guys you continue on to using the same method that you would if you was doing the single plaits and that's you literally using the braiding hair then using expression expression braiding hair braiding hair braiding hair for the another seven times after using it at the top so all together it's eight times you're going to use the braid in here and guys all together i used two packs of the braid in here and the fullness that i got from it is 10 out of 10 i'm going to show you how i add the braid in here at the top to create the two little brown burgundy curls at the front but look as you can see this is the method that i use for the other braid in the other stitch braids to the final braid you add the expression die right at the front and that's literally again you're using the straight side and you add it in the middle section of your hair and try and even it out with the other side and then you literally just braid it in like you see me do here and continue stitching the braid and as you've noticed guys i never add braid in here at the, or in the actual cornrow itself because i just prefer braiding my hair my natural hair then adding the braiding hair at the end too i feel like it's much easier for beginner friendly people um for beginner friendly people and three you're doing it on your own head so it just works better however if you want a certain thickness then i advise you to add expression 
in the actual braid and that's literally it's literally you adding it like you're adding um the expression into single plaits which is in between your index finger and thumb but yeah guys that is literally how i do the method um you will see me then go on to doing my baby hairs and then putting mousse and going under the dryer for about 10 minutes and then guys i realized i didn't actually add water in this because i liked the look of the body wave without the water so I literally left the water, I did not add water this time in this one, but I just added mousse um, to keep it nice and cute. But the body wave was just amazing on its own. So you really don't need to add water if you don't want to. And it falls nicely, so it's not looking stiff. It's flowing nicely, especially if you add two bundles. So it creates that nice fullness. But yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know what you guys would like to see next. is the final look guys what do you think of this cute falani braids <gasps> i am loving this hairstyle i'm loving the color i love burgundy on me it really suits me copper burgundy they're my colors anyways guys comment down below what you guys think of this hairstyle also Get yourself some YG wigs sprayed in here. I've been using YG wigs. I've, I think I've worked with them how many times now? I love their hair. Their hair is 10 out of 10. And the, the colours that they're doing as well. So get you some YG wigs hair. And guys, recreate this cute hairstyle. But guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And follow all my socials where I post on literally every platform now. <laughs> and yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see next as well. But see you later, guys. Bye.